brother's breakfast so time. Get a big spoon. And Herbie very excited. And then you put that on Herbie's one. Same do it. Same do it quick. Good boy. Another scoop. Same do it. Same do it. Good boy. Good boy. We've got two more for Hector. Same do it. Where's Hector's bowl? Good boy. Last one. Some fell out. There you go, last one. Should we do a big one for that kid? That a bit poorly, isn't he? Oh, good, good boy. boy. Now you put this back on. Say, do it. Come on in quick. You hold this one, I hold that one. Good boy. I will do that. Good boy. Hector, on your bed. Down. Well done, darling. High five. High Good five. Boy. Good boy. Come here, then. Look. Go on in, boys. Go on in, hubs. Yay! Woohoo! Five to nine in the morning, and it's time for a family food shop. Look how foggy it is today. Look at the orange leaves on the trees, everybody. <gasps> so, do you know ready. what that means? It's Halloween. This is Halloween. We've had to bring our bike, haven't we? Because it's the go. only way we like to get around nowadays. Which one is it going to be? Quick, make your guess. Ah, uh, got it. Got it. Spot style. Yeah. Do you think it's time to get our Halloween sweets yet? Or are they all going to be eaten? By the way, look at his cool shoes today, guys. They're vans. I think we got them from maybe our cousins as a hand-me-down ages ago. And then Saint was playing with all of his shoes in his wardrobe this morning and put them, put them out. Living my best life, Saint says. Got his veggie sticks. Picking out his petit falou flavours of the week. Mm, what ones do you want to go for, babe? <laughs> what ones do you want? Good morning, everybody, and official welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are all having a really lovely day today. It is a very cold, very wintry Tuesday morning and that is Hector having a nightmare with his comb on his head if you can't hear him in the background. We had a tragedy in the family. All is well now. <laughs> Herbie wants to say hi. Saint is literally just going down for a nap, so let's all be quiet. We were on a dog walk a few days ago and we were throwing the ball like we always do for the boys, which they love. And Hector came running back from going to get the ball. And his back foot was literally like gushing with blood. So we took him straight to the vets, obviously, for an emergency appointment. And he had actually like torn through a ligament, like something in the grass had like cut his foot. And yeah, but as usual, in true Hector spirit, he was literally so brave. This is Saint's first Halloween costume. Not ever, but it's first Halloween one of the year. Connor saw it and wanted to buy it. So apparently Saint's going as Dracula this year. Elms, come on, let's flick his hair back. On his first trick-or-treating experience. Can't wait. A little bit of fake blood. Ah, oh, he will look really handsome. Anna, guys from Tesco's, they have so many, oh, didn't again. they? Yeah, they had a werewolf that I tried to convince them to do. If I had my way, Saint would literally be a pumpkin every year because he looks so cute. Wait, okay, sorry guys, I have to talk really quietly because Saint's literally just gone down for a nap, but I'm just constructing myself a little bit of breakfast this morning, which doesn't look much, okay? But this breakfast it doesn't look good, but it like tastes out of this world. So it's a bit of fried bread in olive oil with some garlic some Philadelphia mixed with this sriracha chili mayo sauce and an avocado and sometimes I like to add some salmon or an egg but in a bit of a rush today so I'm literally just gonna put this together and have it. It's like literally my favourite breakfast right now, it's not very autumnal but still yummy. I've never really been one of like a really hot breakfast in the morning, I don't know about anybody else. I have something that kind of just like feels a bit fresh, you know? Anyway, 
Nothing screams fresh like fried bread. <laughs> Am I right? I know, so I'm gonna quickly eat this and then I'll catch up with you guys in the car. Autumn nails. Okay guys, sorry. I literally feel like we are always catching up in my car at the moment, but I'm not gonna lie. It's just because my house constantly feels like the madhouse. Oh, hair bubble, yes. At the moment, like, it's always easier for me to vlog when Saint is asleep because, I don't know, like, when I'm with Saint, I like to be 100% present and he loves to snatch the camera anyway. And you now I'm in mum mode when I'm with Saint. So as much as I, like, love to share him and blah, 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 I prefer to give him all of me rather than like try to vlog and give like 50% to each you know I yeah I don't know it's a weird one at the same time I just find I have much more like clarity and find it so much easier to vlog if it's just me and I'm not in mum mode anyway that's totally besides the point so I was really thinking about my videos this week and what I'm up to and what I'm gonna film and today I'm not gonna lie wasn't gonna be a day that I filmed just because I don't know like it doesn't really seem to be one that I would usually do but I feel like I'm really coming into a new era and it's a me pleasing era it's not a people pleasing era it's a me pleasing era and I'm really trying to live a lot more authentically and in ways that just feel better to me so a lot of you are probably thinking like, okay, what are you talking Turn about? Turn left on. Just being really aware right now as to what feels good to me and like setting my boundaries within that and what serves me right now and what doesn't and really only trying to choose things that feel like they're on a higher vibration. On Tuesdays for, since the start of the year, I have therapy in the afternoon. It's something I have every single week. It's been like a real consistent in my life since the start of the year. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I know myself firsthand. Sometimes it takes you a really long time to like find a good therapist that you connect with on another level because if you're gonna do therapy, that is how it has to be. Like I, since I was, I had my first therapy session when I was 12 years old. I I, well, I was in year eight, so how does that, I think it's 12. Basically, my parents tried and I tried for a really long time to like get me into therapy and it just never seemed to fit. I tried so many times at different points in my life. Now I'm 20, nearly 27 years old, so that's half my life I've been trying to like find a good therapist. I almost gave up with it, I can't lie. Like after multiple multiple attempts multiple different therapists i was just like maybe therapy just isn't for me like genuinely maybe this is just something that works for everybody else but not for me there was nothing on earth that i wanted to do less than go and sit in a room or like on the phone with a stranger when I was by all other means like having a relatively good day and then like delving into my deep issues that like really upset me and then left me feeling exhausted for the rest of the day like there was nothing about me that wanted to do that but when i found my therapist that i now have that i've been consistent with for 10 months nearly a year i promise you guys if you find the right therapist for you life changing life changing so anyway tuesdays have been kind of like a bit of a slow day in my life for a while now because i i know that i have my therapy and so i don't really put too much pressure on myself to like be really productive on tuesdays or set myself up with a really busy afternoon after i've had my therapy in case something big has come up in therapy and i'm just feeling too emotional to handle anything or but the other night i actually was introduced to this incredible woman around where I live, who is like a spiritual teacher, spiritual healer, ev everything spiritual that you can think of in your mind, she does, and she has been doing basically her whole life. And yesterday, I actually went to go and see her for like a one-on-one, -on -one. and now, if you guys aren't really into spiritual stuff, maybe skip the next whole video, because <laughs> I feel like a lot of you have been like aware that I'm into spiritual stuff for a really long time, but, I really feel like I'm coming into my own with it a bit more now at this phase in my life and I'm so up and down with talking about it online because 
I know that a lot of you love it and I know that it's like something that really connects a lot of us but I know that some people just aren't into it but you know what I just need to be me babe this is my channel this is my space this is something that is really taking up a lot of my energy and my time right now and my passion and I'm you know like doing courses and learning about it a lot more than I ever have and it's just something that really really sparks a passion within me so I'm gonna talk about it yesterday I had the most incredible clearing and healing i have ever had like i regularly get my energy cleansed but yesterday we did like a whole past life thing and everything was cleared just cleared did a few cards and then she made us a cup of tea brought out her jar of biscuits and babe i can't lie it feels like me in 40 years. It's how she feels. She feels like me in 40 years, this incredible lady. I literally, I'm like, how, how are you only just coming into my life right now? Anyway, so I went to see her yesterday and had that and she actually runs meditation groups. So that's where I'm off to today, guys. I'm off to my first ever, well, it's not my first ever. I think I've done one or two before, but I didn't stay consistent with them, but that's cool. I'm off to my first meditation group. And I'm really excited. Like, I really do love to try and meditate on my own. I'm really excited and feeling really inspired to, like, do it as part of a group with people that have been doing it for years and years and they're really knowledgeable about it. I do actually have a diploma in meditation. How crazy is that? I did it in lockdown really interesting i'm actually doing one on astrology right now too so today is slow for me today is meditation group today is therapy today is getting my life on track not that we need to go back on track because actually i do feel like i'm on track right now but we're clearing we're cleaning we're organizing we're settling being gentle with ourselves and that is what today is all about and I wanted to vlog because, like I said, it's not something I typically would actually film, but I feel like it's really important and it's something that I've learned quite recently, especially if you're a mother to young children, how important it is to take care of you and to do things that make you feel like you. You know, we can't pour from an empty cup. How can we give our kids, our partners, our friends, people that love us in life, how can we give them points. the best experience? of us, the role that we play in their life, their mum, or as their wife, or husband, or sister, or friend, how can we do that if we're not full ourselves, you know? So, although it might sound crazy to some people, like, meditation and therapy, and making sure my house is in order, and making sure that I have done my skincare routine that morning, or I've had a workout, or I've had a nutritious breakfast, like, all of this stuff, it doesn't have to be as, like, extreme as therapy at all that's just my personal example but doing all of this stuff in my opinion brings us so much closer to being the best version of ourselves and this is just your daily reminder to just do something for you today even if you don't have kids because you know like it's just more emphasized on how important it is when you have kids because when you have kids you're constantly putting them first all the time your whole life becomes around putting your kids first which is exactly how it should be and i actually heard a really really interesting saying the other day that was in a parenting book or something i can't remember where i got it but it was like sometimes yes doing our best by us is all we can do but actually becoming a parent it's like no you need to do what is best for them and sometimes that means making painful decisions or it means maybe moving through huge hurdles or huge obstacles in your in your life and working through issues or insecurities or deep-rooted trauma that you have built up over the years maybe it is that but when you become a mother or, or a parent that really becomes so important so even though it is emphasized so much more when you have a kid because you are constantly putting them first all the time it is still important even if you don't have children be showing up for yourself you can't pull that idea together of showing up for yourself 
then just think of it as showing up for the people that you love. Do it for showing up for your dog even. Think, okay, well, if my mental health or if my energy level is so low right now, that I don't even wanna take her be out for a walk because I can't peel myself up off the sofa, then that's not doing best for him. How am I giving him the best version of, of me in his life? So if going to a meditation group or having a therapy session or having a nutritious breakfast or even something as small as doing like your skincare routine for the morning, if that means that you, that brings you closer to a happier, healthier, better version of yourself so that you can take Herbie out for a walk, do you not think everybody gets the benefit do you know what i mean daily reminder do something for you today babe anyway i'm not gonna film in my meditation group obviously because it's my first time and i don't know anybody and then i'm obviously not gonna film my therapy session so i will check in with you guys later hopefully i'll be feeling very zen hopefully i'll be feeling cleared and like the best version of me that i've felt in a while wish me luck Hello everybody, I am home from my meditation group, had my therapy session, feeling fantastic. Just admiring my gorgeous flowers that my husband bought me, looking gorgeous in the sunshine over there. What a difference a little bit of autumn sunshine makes. Someone then had Pecky, Oh, of course, it all has to be about her, yeah, Bevo. So. It's past two in the afternoon, and I'm actually going to start making dinner. I'm going to do it in a slow cooker. But I literally did the biggest... Oh, I spent so much money at Zara, guys. Like, I think maybe the biggest Zara order I have ever done, ever. Like, the biggest Zara hauls of Zara hauls. And the majority of it is coming tomorrow i think some of it arrived today i just thought it's really not much but i just thought i'd show you what i picked up it's also only just little bits for saint but really loved it so first of all he's got these really cute little pajamas are they bar bar the bar can't remember how to pronounce but they are so cute and also they've got all of their like christmas kids preview stuff up on the website and it was literally so annoying because I was gonna add all of it to my basket but you know when Zara do that thing where it like has it on the website and then you click into it and then it says coming soon oh, gets me every time but for Christmas they have loads of um bar bar themed stuff and it's so cute but I did just spot these pajamas and they are lovely I also picked him up this gorgeous little jumper little knit number thought he'd look quite cute in that and then finally i love the little muslin cloths that they come in bought him this really lovely little brush and comb set because he's obsessed with brushing his hair at the moment but he's only got like my big tangle teaser or like my hair extension brush so i got him this little set of this is really really soft it doesn't look like it's going to be that soft but it is like so soft and then a comb little set and then also just this cute little duck sponge for bath times that's cute so i thought it came in this order guys but stay tuned because we have got so much coming so next video i'll show you guys or tiktok so i'm gonna make a tiktok anyway we are in the middle of october now guys so you know what that means it is slow cooker time hecky slow cooker time your favorite babe so i'm actually going to make a Slimming World recipe today for dinner. Not because it's Slimming World or anything like that. I just find that genuinely Slimming World have incredible slow cooker recipes. Oh, actually, I literally just remembered something else. Okay, I was gonna cook Slimming World crack chicken because it is incredible and I'm actually really wanting it right now. But I did also buy this little kit from a farm shop the other day. And when we were in Tesco this morning, I brought the beef joint to have with it. So do I have sticky brisket or cracked chicken? Both sound right up my street today, to be really honest with you. You know what? Let's go with the cracked chicken because this will stay for a while longer, you know? I can do that tomorrow maybe, but this cracked chicken has been in my mind all day, babe. But this is what it is, guys. It's like a really nice creamy chicken dish. Have it with a jacket potato or maybe chips. Literally so nice. Saint will probably like it as well, actually. Okay, so all you need is shallots, but I'm going to use onions, garlic, stock, 
some seasoning, cream cheese, chicken breasts, bit of bacon, and that's it. this book that you were inspired to buy it by? Get actually Load of podcasts. Actually, if you speak to anyone about self-development, they will know who this guy is and they will recommend him. Look, Joe Wicks. I've never felt so alive. Soon I'll say Connor Swift. <laughs> and I will say, I told you, Ellie. <laughs> but he's bought a loony body clock. I'm not gonna lie. To gradually, it's gonna be a gradual sunrise to you wake us up because what's worse than you're having the beautiful sleep and then you just hear a massive yeah, but, and then it startles you yeah but we That's don't ever you... have that con because saints are alarm clock in the morning and not being funny but if you set the alarm clock to 7 a.m and saints gonna wake up at 7 10 i would love that extra 10 minutes about no, the sun rising feel, in my face i thought to be responsible adults we need to get up an hour before a child so we could Get downstairs, have a cup of tea, we can debrief about the day. <laughs> I don't need to debrief about the day. We can watch the news. No see what's way. Going on in the economy. But I'm telling you, this is a good investment. Hey guys, this is how the crack chicken turned out. How good does it look? Delicious if you ask me. I added some bacon and also in the original recipe there isn't um green beans or mushrooms but i added them in for a little bit of extra veg as well and connor's cooked us some asparagus we're we gonna watch tonight yellowstone you've not told them about yellowstone you? no i haven't but i think bake off's on con Ellie, i'm sorry but i'm not watching the bake off i'm not that guy okay well you've been that guy every other week so what's changed Baby, i've not watched it this whole time yes you have but yeah we've started yellowstone we've also started the midnight club on netflix which is really good to be fair isn't it love yellowstone though that's really good it's on paramount plus which i feel like it's the new like netflix it's like the american isn't it? it's yeah the american show, there's something on there called the ex-wife as well which is apparently is supposed to be really good my sister told me we've got a baby you don't really have all the time in the world to binge watch these series so we're going I don't think we're going at such a slow pace with all our series at the moment. We're Addicts, like we would start and finish within a week. Yeah, like we would literally watch like three episodes a night. God, those were the days, huh? But I don't how good you got it, you? we're lucky that House of Dragons once is week. once a week. Otherwise, we would probably not even keep up on. I can't believe there's only one episode left. Why is everybody's heads up with that, by the way? What a drama. So yeah, we're gonna have this with some nice. Okay, you can taste it live, but I know it's going to be good. I'm going to do it as well. Oh, when you miss original ideas, you get all your inspiration <laughs> off of me. You should go on master chat. Mm. Poor old Hecky. Poor bloke, eh? Life with a comb. Good job, Hack. Oh, he's just staring hard. Yellowstone. How do you rate your dinner out of 10? 10 out of 10. Yummy, isn't it? This chicken is. New family favourite, I think. Hello, my loves. That is going to go ahead and finish off today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just a really cosy little kind of day at home, but kind of not because I know I popped out, but it, I don't know. It just felt like we were just chilling at my house, which was nice. But yeah I just want to say I hope you're all having a really really lovely week if you're not don't worry there's always next week I don't know let me know if anybody else feels the same but I just feel as if like the energy around everywhere is just very stagnant very like let's just take this time to be slow and just chill out I just hope you guys are honoring 
that and giving yourself the time and the grace to if that's what you need. There will always be so many more times and opportunities in the future where you get to be productive and you get to be busy and life feels like it's moving at 100 miles an hour again. Um, that is always like a really comfortable feeling for me is like always being really really on it and being really really busy and so it's taken me a long time to get used to over the years the like more quiet periods and seasons of my life but if you feel like that's for you right now just take it as it is you are exactly where you need to be right now I don't know who needs to hear that but take it and make yourself a nice cup of tea and just go and relax I love you guys all so much thank you so much for watching another video with me guys sending you all lots of love today and I will see you in the next video